What is up, guys? Uh, my name is John. Uh, today it's August 8th, 2021. Um, I have one more day until I start this kick start of my chapter of my life um, of eating plant based foods. Um, tomorrow, I'll kind of give you a rundown on my workout. I'm definitely going to be doing a chest workout. Uh, my coach back home, uh, Steve Matani, giving him a shout out. Uh, he probably would shake his head if he saw what I'm eating, but I love you, man. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to be doing like a chest day. Um, I can't really run because I have a knee injury. So what I can do is I walk. So I walk at like an 8 to 10 incline at about 3.2 3 to almost 3.5 speed for about four, 30 to 45 minutes because I can't run. I actually miss running. I actually miss lifting. So I'm also hoping this diet will also help with my joints. That I can lift more and lift better. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, went grocery shopping today. I uh, got some cucumbers. I got some some uh, pita bread, um, which I'm going to be very sparingly on it. Don't worry. I'm not going to go all out on pasta and bread like that. Um, I got some hummus. Like I love hummus. Love hummus. Uh, I got some, some snap peas. Got apples, cucumbers. Um, I got some juice blends because I, I have to go find my juicer it's somewhere around here. So I got like this easy little juice blend that I want to drink in the morning. And I'm going to start doing my veggies, start cooking a little bit later on down the road. Usually when I purchase meat, when I purchase food for me for the week, it usually costs me anywhere up to 55 it's almost $70 a week. So that's like $140 a month. The food that I purchased on top of that was all natural peanut butter, which I'll be sparingly with, with Dave's bread. It's the slice, thin slice, light Dave's bread. It's really good. I'll have to show you guys later on about that, how good it is. Um, but I'm trying to keep it to where I eat breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, and then I want to do a possible snack at the end. We'll see how I feel. Um, another thing I probably would recommend um, would be somebody from the Tampa Bay uh, Buccaneers, quarterback you probably all know, uh, Tom Brady, his TB12 method. This guy just turned, I think, 41 or 42. Or some, he's up there. And the guy is insane how he trains and how he is. And what he does every morning is he drinks a huge glass of water. So what I also want to do is I want to do my water intake Increase my water intake on top of my plant-based diet. Is it going to be hard? Yes, it is going to be hard. Can I do it? I've done things before. I should have said crazier things before. So, heck, might as well do this. So, just uh, give it a like. My video like. Give me a uh, hit a subscribe so you can keep up with this. I'm slowly trying to promote this and just see how this goes. Um, I like to, as you can tell, I like to vocalize a lot of things with my people. So... To me, how do I put it? I This is going to help me as much as I hope it helps you. That we can live healthy. We can live to where we don't have to feel bloated. We don't have to feel like diabetes is going to come. Or cholesterol is going to come. Obesity is going to come. Like I'm trying to find a way where we can fight this and win it. Because to me, I owe it to not just myself. I owe this to my family, you know, my future wife, my future children, if God decides to bless me with them, um, that I won't be that dad at like 48 having to get triple bypassers or something like that. That's not going to be me. That is not going to be me. That was my father. Um, I come from a, a line of my family of pre-existing conditions of congestive heart failure, diabetes, glaucoma, lung issues uh my grandfather died from colon cancer on my dad's side of the family my other side of the family is uh you know my other grandfather had prostate cancer and on top of that i you know so the list goes on of what you're 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 trying to fight that your your gen you don't want to say your genetics in a way but you're yeah your pre-existing genetics that your family's done but you can ultimately change that and reverse that so that's kind of what I'm trying to do. I'm kind of see if I can reverse these roles. Like I said, uh, once I get my printouts of my labs, I'm going to post them, either post them in the comments or I'll just name it off to you guys and just probably put a piece of paper up. I, I'm still learning this YouTube thing. And 
hopefully show that it does work. Am I going to miss meat? Yeah, of course I am. I mean, who doesn't love a rare steak or a hamburger or a hot dog or sausage, something like that. But if that means I have to make a sacrifice for my health, I feel like it's doing the more responsible thing. So, um, as I said, please keep encouraging. You can write comments, share it, my video, like, hit like down the bottom, subscribe, so you can keep watching this guy wearing these funky shirts like this parrot shirt, because I love parrots. Next is going to be flamingos. So, have a great Sunday, everybody. Have a great week coming up. Remember, seize the day, or as I would like to say, Vinny Bidi Vici, as I came, I saw, I conquered to the day, to the week, to the month. So love y'all, take care, and hope to hear from you guys soon. In the comments, worst case scenario, I'll be posting tomorrow of how my workout went and how day one went. So, all right, take it easy, guys.